What's up guys, DRock1992 here. For this next video, I'm going to be reviewing a remake of a 1972 film. It's called The Heartbreak Kid. The Heartbreak Kid, for those of you who don't know, is a movie that essentially it stars Ben Stiller. Um, and I like Ben Stiller as an actor. He's done some good movies. Um, Malin Ackerman. Um, for those of you who don't know, she starred in a sitcom just last year called Trophy Wife uh, on ABC, I believe it was, and she's been in a few movies. Danny, Mc, uh, Danny McBride is in this movie. Michelle Monaghan is in this movie. Uh, pretty much, those are the big characters, you know, the recognizable people, I guess. But anyway, The Heartbreak Kid has a 29% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. I can see it, definitely. I'll get into that later. The Heartbreak Kid is directed by the Farrelly Brothers. The famous Farrelly Brothers who made great comedy classics like There's Something About Mary, Me, Myself, and Irene, Dumb and Dumber. They're going to be doing the sequel, Dumb and Dumber uh, 2. Uh, the T.O., basically. Um... Uh, some title there. Uh, Shallow How they did. Um, they've done some good movies, the Farrelly Brothers. But first of all, I'm going to get into the plot of this movie. Ben Stiller's character is a down-on-his-luck romantic, a hopeless romantic, basically, that just got divorced from his wife of five years. He doesn't think love is for him, basically. But then... He runs into a woman who's getting her purse snatched, who's getting her purse stolen by this, uh, looks like this homeless mugger. Ben Stiller tries, his character tries to get the purse back, but fails. But the two meet each other, uh, Malin Ackerman's character and Ben Stiller's character. They meet each other, and eventually they go out on some dates, and they fall in love, and they get married. For their honeymoon, they go down to Mexico. Uh, I think Cabo, I, I, I want to say, where, um, is where they're at their uh, honeymoon. But anyway, this, this romance between Ackerman and Stiller's characters doesn't go over too well. When they're on their way to Mexico, she's singing like every song on the radio. And eventually, Stiller's character gets pretty annoyed. Um... She's very aggressive in the bedroom, Ackerman's character. And this leaves Stiller's character pretty shaken with fright. I mean, of how aggressive she is. Uh, they argue about sunscreen. Um, she doesn't put on sunscreen. She puts on this, uh, this other thing instead when it's really sunny outside. And she gets a major sunburn. And they argue about that. Eventually, Stiller meets this woman who's on vacation with her family. They're also staying at the same hotel in uh, Mexico, in Mexico, uh, played by Michelle Monaghan. He finds that she is his match, basically. They, they are compatible with each other in ways that Malin Ackerman and Ben Stiller's characters are not. But anyway, they start off, they, they go out drinking, they go out on the boat, on a boat and all that sort of thing. Everybody from Michelle Monaghan's character's family likes Stiller's character except for Denny McBride's character, who thinks that Ben Stiller's character is hiding something. Uh, but anyway, all is good, basically, but then it starts to unravel. Um, eventually, Malin Ackerman's character finds out that he's been hanging out with Michelle Monaghan's character. Stiller's character told some lies. He said he was never married, and he said he's out alone, basically, on vacation. But, Monaghan's character um, finds out that, in fact, he's with his wife. At first, there's these kids at the... At um, a wedding that Stiller attends from for his ex-wife. How awkward's that? Um, 
These kids at first think that he's gay. Stiller's character is gay. Then they see Stiller's character with Malin Ackerman. Malin Ackerman, for those of you who haven't seen her uh, in picture, she's a pretty gorgeous woman. Uh, they say, you know, they come up with something that Malin Ackerman's character was murdered. Uh, and then, basically, eventually it comes out that Malin Ackerman's character was not murdered. And she is Ben Stiller's character's new wife. Anyway, Monaghan's character is not too happy about this. And she runs off. She she goes away. She um, leaves Mexico. Stiller's character wants to go out and apologize. He, di you know, he's in the process of divorcing Malin Ackerman's character. He's going to eventually. It doesn't really get into that in the movie, but... Malin Ackerman's character, in a fit of rage, destroys Stiller's character's passport and all the documents he needs to get out of Mexico and into the United States. So Stiller tries a few times to escape with Mexican immigrants. They try to go across the border, gets caught every time. Eventually, he comes out of um, Mexico and into the United States, and... He, with the help of his father, actually, another character who's in this movie is Jerry Stiller, better known as uh, Mr. Costanza from Seinfeld. He was in The King of Queens. He's Ben Stiller's father as well. Uh, ben, you know, Ben Stiller's character eventually goes to the family's home, uh, Monaghan's family's home. And they tell him basically to leave her alone, that she already got married, and basically um, to leave him alone and leave her alone. Stiller seems like he agrees to do that, but then he sneaks into Monaghan's character's room. She's visibly pretty upset, pretty uh, surprised that he came, that he came basically, and. Essentially, Monaghan's character says that, pretty much says that he, she's content with her new husband. Danny McBride's pretty mad that uh, Stiller's character invades the room, so he invades Monaghan's house, and he beats up Stiller's character pretty badly. Um, but eventually, Stiller, both Stiller's characters leave. And he eventually forgets about Monaghan's character. And he moves back to Mexico. He doesn't think there's really much for him. The plot's originally set in California. So he moves back to uh, Mexico. And he starts a business down there. Monaghan's character comes along. And she, you know, catches up with Stiller's character and they agree to go out for lunch one day. But, but, Stiller's characters, Stiller's character remarried in a cameo from Eva Longoria, uh, his new wife. And that's pretty much the end of the movie. I'll start out with, I hated the ending. I despised the ending. When um, Stiller's character has a new wife, he begins the same problem again. You can't do that in a romantic comedy, in my opinion. This is basically classified as a romance slash comedy, a rom-com, essentially. You can't do that in a rom-com, in my opinion. It's just... Mm, the basic thing of a romantic comedy is, guy falls in love with a girl screws up, then basically makes it up to the girl, or vice versa, and they live happily ever after. But it doesn't happen in this movie. You can't do that. You know, so I hate the ending of this movie. Um, other than that, the rest of the way, I mean, it had its laughs, you know, it had its moments. But 
it just wasn't a dynamic movie. Ben Stiller is so-so in this movie. He is nothing. His character, this is nothing like his performance in There's Something About Mary. That's a classic Farrelly Brothers movie because it fits the bill. It, it's a romantic comedy, yes, but he lives happily ever after with the his um his romantic interest played by um Cameron Diaz in that movie. They live happily ever after, and then the Farrelly brothers have their offbeat humor, their interesting humor for sure. Um, in these movies, me, myself, and Irene, that same thing. He lives happily ever after with um Jim Carrey's character lives happily ever after with. Renee Zellweger's character. It doesn't happen in the Heartbreak Kid. And I hate that. A terrible ending. I mean, I could rant on and on about the ending. It's just that bad, but I'm not going to. Overall, this movie, um, other than the terrible ending, it had its moments. There's a Farrelly Brothers moment where... Only the Farrelly brothers could really do this, where Stiller's character gets a jellyfish stuck on his back, and they're panicking and, and all that sort of thing. It reminds me of, oh, uh, there's something about Mary, where Stiller's character in this movie gets a zipper caught on his penis, and they start, they, they go without, there's outrageous things, a policeman comes in, a fireman comes in, a policeman comes, the policeman is like, Okay, we're going to get this off in one, two, three. Then when he says three, it immediately goes to, We got a bleeder! That was just so funny. Um, the jellyfish part, I mean, that that's a redeeming quality in this movie. But it's just, it's not, it doesn't stand up to me, myself, and Irene. Or, um, you know, Dumb and Dumber. Uh, all those type, you know, there's something about Mary. It just does not stand up to these Farrelly Brothers classics. It doesn't have enough laughs for me to really um, classify this as a good movie. Still, Ben Stiller is Ben Stiller, but I mean, he's a typical Ben Stiller character. But I don't know. I just wasn't real thrilled with his performance in this movie. Malin Ackerman, she did a pretty good job in this film, uh, you know, playing her character. Michelle Monaghan, not really. I mean, not really too memorable, per se, but I guess she did her job. Um, Jerry Stiller was pretty funny. That was a funny quality. He had some funny lines in it, but not, as, not nearly as dynamic as Seinfeld or, or King of Queens. Uh... You know, Danny McBride was kind of forgettable. This movie suffered. Um, but overall, I'm going to give this a two and a half. Or actually, I'm going to give this a two out of five stars. This Farrelly Brothers movie is not, is probably the worst out of the Farrelly Brothers movies. Even worse than another movie that they did, which I didn't particularly find that funny hall pass um heartbreak kid is probably a little worse than that um but i give it a two out of five stars and that's it for my review and my long rant about the ending of this movie i hate that ending all right uh that's it d rock 1992 out